and some people have to work harder at it. So since I really want to be a star someday, I took the quiz. But I won't tell you my score until you take the quiz, too. Pretty sneaky, huh? I remember most of the quiz, so I'll just ask you the questions, and you can tell me your answers. Or if you're not in the mood for the quiz, maybe you'd like to hear my favorite new song. And I know we could do a fashion show while I'm singing it. Because you know me, I love to change my clothes about a zillion times a day. Either one sounds great to me, so you decide. Should we do the quiz or the fashion show? Quiz. The quiz? Great. Okay, here we go. I'll ask you the question. It's a multiple choice quiz. You know, the kind that has three possible answers for each question. Like for instance, if the question said, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? The three answers might be vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. And you'd have to choose from those three. Even if you really like peaches and cream better, because that's the way magazine quizzes are. So listen to the three answers for each question. And then tell me which one you would choose. Get it? Great. The first question said, who would you rather tell your secrets to? Your diary, your teddy bear, or your best friend? Teddy bear. You know me. I tell my secrets to you. Boy, I just love to take quizzes like this. Okay, here comes the next question. If you really wanted to impress someone, would you... Make a totally great drawing, imitate someone famous, or do a dance in front of your family and friends. So tell me, because I'm listening. What would you do? Make a drawing, imitate someone, or dance? Make a drawing. Great! I bet you do that really well. Hmm, I'm trying to remember the other questions on the quiz. Oh, here's one. If you could be an animal, what would you rather be? A kitten, a sheepdog, or a palomino horse? A palomino horse. Horse? Whoa! Good answer! Okay, here's the last question I can remember. If you were a character in a fairy tale, who would you want to be? Sleeping Beauty, Gretel, like in Hansel and Gretel, or Goldilocks? Gretel. That's what I picked, too. Well, that's the end of the quiz. The neat thing about it was that the answers were lettered A, B, or C. And at the end, you counted up all your answers to see how much star quality you had. But it turned out that there were no bad scores. Like one part said, if you picked mostly A answers, you might think you're too shy to be an actress. But you'd make a perfect ballerina. Then it said, if you picked mostly B answers, you have a very special kind of star quality, the ability to create things that other people admire. If you picked mostly C answers, it said, you have enough star quality to be an actress, a singer, a dancer, or even a talking chicken. <laughs> no, I made up that part about the chicken. Anyway, you'll never guess what my score was. I had four A's, four B's, and four C's, even though there were only ten questions, and that doesn't add up. On the question about the animals, I wanted to be a kitten, a sheepdog, and a palomino horse, so I picked all three answers for that one. What should we do now? I know. I haven't written to my pen pal in a long time, and I wanted to tell her all about my new best friend, you. Maybe we could do that, or would you rather have your fortune told? After all, Madam Julina hasn't been heard from in a very, very long time. Perhaps you would like to look into the future. I can't decide which would be more fun, so you choose. Should we go with Madam Julina or my pen pal? Pen pal. Pen pal. Pen pal. Sorry, I didn't understand you. Wait till you hear about my pen pal. Her name is Julian, spelled with a G at the beginning, and she's from England. Isn't that neat? Her friends call her Jill, just like me. I've never met her in person, of course, but I've been writing to her for about four months. She seems really nice, only her life is a lot different from yours and mine. She goes to a boarding school, so she has to live away from her home. Anyway, she wrote to me once and asked me what my favorite American holidays were, because she was doing a report on holidays around the world for school. 
Well, you know me. I absolutely adore costumes. So naturally, Halloween is my very favorite. So I wrote to Julian and told her all about Halloween. Can you believe they don't have Halloween in England? Anyway, I told her all about how I usually make my own costume. And then I go out trick-or-treating for a while. And then I come home and change into another costume and go out again. It's more fun that way. The only thing I didn't tell Julian about is the one time about three years ago when I was trick-or-treating with my cousin Connie. It's sort of a spooky story. So if you don't want to hear it, just say, no thanks. No thanks. You know, sometimes I'm not in the mood for a spooky story either. Besides, we were supposed to be sending a letter to Julian. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you make a drawing of us? Would you like to? Yes or no? No. That's okay, because there's something else I'd like to do. I've got something I've been dying to talk to you about in private, because I don't want anyone to hear. It's too embarrassing. Could you please make sure the door is closed and that no one else is listening? Thanks. Well, it's about this boy at school. His name is Steven. He's really cute. He has curly hair, and he always wears these funny green sneakers with red laces, and the word never written on the back in magic marker. I'm dying to know why he has never written on his shoes. But I don't want to ask him, because all of his friends seem to know the answer, and they act like it's some kind of big secret. Anyway, I like him a whole lot, but I can never tell whether or not he likes me. How about you? Do you like boys? Yes or no? No. I know what you mean. I used to hate boys, and sometimes when Steven teases me, I still think he's horrible. But most of the time, I wish I could get to know him better. Well, enough about him. Why don't you tell me about the kids in your class at school? Hey, maybe someday I could come to school with you as a visitor. That would be really neat, huh? I promise not to talk when I'm not supposed to. So what do you think I should wear if I come to school with you? A skirt or blue jeans? Blue jeans. Okay, or how about my blue pants? Would that be good? Actually, I don't care what I wear as long as we can be together. Hey, do you want to hear something really funny? I was watching TV the other day and there was this Western movie on. And wait till you hear this. During the movie, a man rode into town on a horse and went into the hotel to get himself some dinner. And when he came out, his horse was gone. So he stood in the middle of the street and yelled, Who took my horse? Everyone was too scared to answer him, so he yelled even louder. I said, Who took my horse? But no one even moved, because this guy looked extremely tough and mean. So the guy went back into the hotel and he announced to everyone, Whoever took my horse had better bring him back in five minutes, or, by golly, I'll do what my father did. Everyone was shaking and looking super scared. When the five minutes were up, the man went back outside, and his horse was there. The man was about to ride out of town when a little boy came running up to him and said, Excuse me, mister, but what were you going to do if they didn't bring your horse back? I told you, I'll do what my father did. So the boy said, what did your father do, mister? And the man said, uh, he walked home. What a day! This has been so much fun! And the best part is, it never has to end. Because we're going to be best friends forever! Remember! You and me, that's all that we need To make a good time better My heart shines just like a rainbow Whenever we're together Come along, we'll sing our song Each and every day With a new best friend like you I'm not afraid to say Together, together We can make it happen We can make it We can make it happen Thanks again for spending time with me I've got to cool out now for a few minutes while my tape rewinds. And then we can be together again. Bye for now. <laughs>